Hey, Josh T. Running T Farms. Kind of a midday cattle move here. Thought I would uh, take a little shot. We are uh, getting ready to begin our breeding season. So we've moved the cattle over here a little bit closer to our working facilities. Uh, we will be doing some artificial insemination, introducing some more Mashona genetics to our herd. Uh, we've been blessed with some good rain here in the past couple of weeks. Uh, <clears throat> the paddock where I'm standing is a season long stockpile. It was grazed during the growing season last year. Uh, one of the big differences though, uh, with this paddock and where we've been grazing is this farm's been under our management uh, for a good number of years now. When we started, there was predominantly about three forage species here and I'm using forage kind of lightly. Uh, there was Kentucky 31 fescue, there was buttercups in the spring, and there was dog fennel this time of the year. We still have some dog fennel, but uh, it, was a, it was a near solid stand of fescue, dog fennel, and buttercups in the spring. So I, I'd like for you to take a look now. We have reduced the fescue probably down to 50% or less. And I, I hope it doesn't go any less than that, but we'll take it. But all these warm seasons, that's purple top, Dallas grass, more purple top, Eastern gamma, Johnson grass. You know, we got some good uh, buckhorn plantain in there. There's some more Dallas grass. Uh, and all under here is just the understory. If we part that back, there's clover everywhere under here. So I was just going to take a little walk. Dallas grass. I'm six feet tall. That's as tall as I am. Dallas grass. There's a remaining dog fennel. We're actually starting to see the cattle consume that even, uh, surprisingly enough. But I got my wire lifter set up. Uh, just a tremendous amount of forage in here. Cows just moved into a, uh, a new break here. And uh, we've just got tree swallows flying everywhere around here. It's quite, quite nice to uh, see an ecosystem, a thriving ecosystem. We got some calves there creep grazing ahead. Uh, but I, I would caution you to, or have you look at, at some of these cattle here. So we don't do anything for, for flies. We haven't done anything for flies in four or five years other than we keep selecting cattle uh, that thrive in our environment. These are some of our heifers that we're going to be exposing to breeding the first time. Uh, they're right in here along with the cow herd. There's a, there's a, a hundred, roughly a hundred head of cows in here uh, and about uh, 25 or 30 calves as out of our first spring calving cows. We've got uh, some fall calving cows in here and then we've got uh, our replacement heifers. And boy right here is just a fine example of what uh, I think we want. I feel sure she's gonna breed and pan out. This is a 50% Mashona cross uh, heifer just a fantastic animal if you'll notice there's a i see one horn fly on her side there is all i see extremely slick hided slick coated just like those then i will uh i will show you this cow here you know who's not doing as well she's got horn flies on her back although not many looks like about 15 or 20 but you know you can look at this animal and look at that animal and tell that uh, they're definitely, uh, the other animal is, is handling it better. Of course, this is a lactating cow. She's nursing a calf. But uh, look at the uh, fat deposition around uh, the tail on this heifer here. They're just uh, uh, extremely good animals. We've got birds flying everywhere. There's a, a huge population of birds in here. So we walked through the uh, walked through the uh, grass that they we just moved them into, 
and you know we'll get a shot here of where they've already grazed might get to see some birds take off there's a uh, ton of birds you know why are all these birds here well, these birds are here because there's a lot of insects here why is there a lot of insects here it's because uh we've managed so with no pesticides and no herbicides uh that we can you know we, we're creating a thriving ecosystem so a lot of people would look at some of the stuff in this in this sward here they would see this aster and they would see some of this horse nettle heck a lot of them would even look there's a there's what those birds are after you know there's just there's just beetles and bugs and crickets and grasshoppers everywhere but they would look at some of the stuff in this in this sward and think wow what a pack of weeds but if you will look here uh, behind us you can see that it's not weeds it's just forage our cattle eat all of it they might have left a few stems here but they've eat all the leaves off of it got very good utilization on this left our ground covered manure looks good and we're cruising right along so i uh, hope everybody has a, a fantastic week uh, great to have finally gotten some rain great to see the birds flying great to see the cattle out here grazing and doing well uh, it's kind of cloudy and overcast today which uh, helps it feel a little nicer than the triple digit heat we've been experiencing for the last number of weeks so I hope everybody is having a pleasant a week as we are here in the Piedmont of North Carolina. So uh, as always, you can check us out online at runningtbeef.com. You can like us on Facebook at Running Tea Beef. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure and click that like and subscribe button on your way out. And uh, everybody have a fantastic rest of your week.